Zscaler DLP is a fundamental building block of data protection. Now, because we can inspect inside of all traffic on and off network and across SSL, we can help you quickly find sensitive data wherever it may be. Our integrated approach to DLP makes things simple. We have predefined dictionaries so you can get up and running quickly. Our custom dictionaries help you reduce false positives. And best of all, because we integrate CASB with DLP, we reduce complexity by only requiring you to create one DLP policy that can inspect both inline and data sitting at rest inside of cloud apps. Let's see what this looks like inside the user interface. Once inside the Zscaler console, the first location we're going to want to go to is administration and DLP dictionaries and engines, which are the fundamental building blocks for creating DLP rules. You can see here we have a host of predefined DLP dictionaries that you can use right out of the box. You can also create custom dictionaries like I have here, which is a common one to search for confidential information. Now in this custom dictionary, you can see we're looking for the key phrase confidential, but we can also use proximity to search for other key phrases that help improve detection or reduce false positives. Once we have defined our keywords, we can then go ahead and apply dictionaries into an engine. So I'm going to create an engine here, and I'm going to call this confidential. And here's where I apply my dictionaries to the engine. So I'm going to select my confidential dictionary, and I'm going to say if I see it more than uh, zero times, so one, I'm going to alert. But then I can also combine dictionaries. Let's say I also want to do uh, credit cards. So I can add credit cards in here and let's say I'm looking for a list of five or more. So greater than four credit cards in that list. If I see both of those, I can alert. I can do it by any if I just want to alert on one of those dictionaries. And I can also do sub expressions as well. So I can do, uh, let's say I want to do an exclusion and I want to exclude financial statements. So very robust engine here to create and combine dictionaries however you see fit. After you've created your engine, you go ahead and click Save. And now the last thing you need to do is you need to apply this to a policy. And that's selected by going to Policy and Data Loss Prevention. Now you can see I already have a policy here. This is a very simple policy. It's defined to block, and it's going to block any password protected file and alert me at my alert email. Now this is a way for you to prevent data from being uh, trying to bypass DLP engines. Now to create a content rule with inspection, you just go here and you select rule with content inspection. And here's where you apply your engine to a policy. So you can see I have my engine here that I created. I go ahead and apply that to the policy. And now I'm pretty much set in, except I can just add granularity to it. So I can define it by just a cloud app. If I wanted to alert by a specific file type or users, I can do user groups or departments. Once I have decided how granular I want to create this policy, um, I can decide if I really want to block it or allow it. If I'm going to allow it, I can also send a notification to an email of my choice. Uh, and then I'm off and running. I can also send it to an ICAP receiver if I want to share that information. After I save the policy, I'm pretty much set. In order to start blocking this across your traffic, all you have to go is activate and send and uh, activate it and you'll be all set.